What is going on guys, my name is Master Saiyan, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. So in today's video, what I do with you guys is a video going through the update wish list for 2016 and everything that we want to see in the game for 2016. And this is going to be the top update wish list of things that we want to see in the game. And basically for every like, Clash Royale are going to be notified on Twitter. So every like there will get a notification on Twitter. So if this video gets 10 likes, they'll get 10 notifications, but we want to get tons of likes on this video just so they can see that we want more updates, more updates faster and the things that we want added into the game. So be sure to leave a like and it will only take like 5 seconds and they'll actually get notified which is actually insane. And I also am going to be doing a giveaway today. The giveaway is going to be for a $25 iTunes or Google Play card which is actually for Magical Chess. Stay in turn. All you guys need to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and also leave a comment and basically that will get you entered in. But with all that out of the way we'll get directly into it. So the first idea in which we I'm going through is going to be the super crown chest. Now the super crown chest is basically like a super magical chest but you can actually unlock it. Now the super crown chest you can actually get once a week while the crown chest you can get daily. But the thing is with the super crown chest you actually have a higher chance of getting legendary cards out of it and basically it is like a really really upgraded crown chest. Now to unlock this super crown chest you're actually going to be needing to win 100 battles in one week. So you actually have a week to actually unlock it and you'll have to win 100 battles to actually get it. But inside this chest is actually some insane stuff. And basically on screen right now I've got a little picture of what it will look like. Of course there's a little giant chest uh, meter right there. But instead of that there will be a super crown chest. And basically after you do get the 100 battle wins if you open up that chest, you'll actually have about the exact same chance as a super magical chest to actually get yourself a legendary card. And you'll actually get so many cards out of that super crown chest and it'll actually reward a lot of the players for actually playing the game and winning and just having fun in the game. It'll actually make the game a lot more fun to free to play players because they can actually earn their way up to a super crown chest instead of just buying gems and get opening a super magical chest. And since Clash Royale actually does take like six uh, years to max out your base if you're playing all day as a free to player, this will actually help us out because the game is actually really hard to progress in and if they can add a super crown chest it would actually help out a lot of players. Now our second idea is to be able to buy a silver chest and a golden chest. Now they did take out this feature as soon as they added in the giant and super magical chest but I think they should actually think about adding in the silver and golden chest as it is really good for lower level players to actually gem to a silver or golden chest because some people don't really have enough gems to afford like a giant or magical chest so if they can add these ones in it could help but of course that you can win them through battling so there's not much of a reason to actually buy them except if you don't really want to battle but you know some people have said that they should add them in uh, just as a substitute to the giant chest if it costs too much gems for them which is an alright idea to be honest, but it's probably better if you're actually just playing the game and unlocking the chest through that way. Now our next idea is to actually gem through a free chest timing. So you know how the free chest is actually unlocked like every uh, 12 hours or so, whatever. Uh, to make it so you can actually open up the free chest with gems, because the free chest actually does have a chance to give you a legendary card. So if they can make it so you can open it with gems, it could be cool. And maybe there's like an hour left on your free chest and you have to go and you won't be back for like 10 hours. Maybe you can just gem it through. Now our next idea is actually going to be for more legendary cards. And these cards are actually going to be legendary hero cards, which are going to be rarer than legendary cards. And these are actually going to be 10 times rarer than uh, legendaries. So either the new hero cards are going to be 10 times rarer or they're going to be the same as the legendaries. Hopefully they're not 10 times rarer than legendaries or it'll just make it so hard for us to actually unlock them. But basically the new legendary card ideas are going to be for the Barbarian King and the Archer Queen in the game. Now the Barbarian King is basically like an upgraded knight and he'll actually do a large amount of damage while having a good amount of health. I'm not sure if they'll incorporate his hero ability 
where he rages up and gets a whole bunch of barbarians around him. All I know is it would be pretty cool if they can add in some hero cards into Clash Royale. Just because there isn't many cards right now and they can add in a whole bunch of cards so why not add in some heroes from Clash of Clans into Clash Royale. Now our next idea is going to be a pretty cool idea. This is actually going to be a daily rewards idea so basically every day you log on you can get a set amount of gems and this will increase uh, towards the calendar month. So if you've logged on every day for 30 days, you actually receive a big gem bonus on the 30th day. Or maybe you can get a free epic card or a legendary. Maybe not a legendary for logging on 30 days straight, but maybe you can get a free epic card or you can get a good gem bonus. If they can add in like a daily calendar reward for actually logging into the game, that would be pretty cool. If they don't really wanna add that in, maybe they can add in daily achievements into the game. Basically a daily achievement can go well with the crown chest. So maybe the daily achievement will be to kill like 20 barbarians in one day. So you'll have to play some matches, find some people that have barbarians and obviously kill their barbarians and then you can get an achievement which is gems and these achievements can range from a lot. Maybe you have to destroy 10 inferno towers in matchmaking and that is actually quite a pretty hard achievement to do and you actually get a good gem bonus for doing that and it'll really reward the people that actually play the game and like to have fun in the game and then they'll get bonuses for that and can progress through the game a lot easier because I know progressing in the game is really hard if you don't buy gems. Now our last idea is going to be for a day and night cycle or a winter mode. So at Christmas time a good idea for the game would be to make it all Christmas like or when it's Halloween time to be all Halloween like. If they can add seasons in the game, seasonal updates, that would be pretty cool. And my other idea is a night mode, so if it's nighttime in your area, maybe the game can be nighttime or there can be a set option to set it into nighttime mode. So when you're battling someone, you'll be battling them in the night rather than the day. And that'll actually be really cool. Now be sure to comment down below some of your own update ideas and we will get directly into a raid against John. Now we are going to be using like some sort of princess mini P.E.K.K.A. Uh, minor deck which has minions in it as well and the main focus of this deck is to get the mini pecker and the minions onto the tower while the miner distracts and the princess helps chip off from the back and this is actually a pretty good deck this guy seems to be wrecking us right at the start which is actually kind of sad he gets our tower down to 855 health but the thing with this deck you can easily bring it back but like I was saying with this deck you can easily bring back a raid just one really quick push with the mini pekka uh, you can easily take out a tower the mini pekka does do a huge amount of damage oh that was a bit of a fail there rip can that mini pekka get to the tower no I think those goblins are gonna stop him can he get one hit off nope princess got him so that really sucks but we did do quite a bit of a damage to his tower it has 1900 health while ours has 855 but Hopefully we can actually bring it back, why don't we just drop a cannon, I dropped that cannon too late of course for the princess to target the tower. Let's go ahead and drop down elixir collector, at least we can have an elixir advantage over him. Now we're just going to be having to try and build up our elixir and try and get a push on the right side. We're just going to drop down our princess and a miner to actually take out his princess which is a really fair trade as we can get some princess damage off and hit that goblin which is not too bad. So. Why don't we drop some minions to take out those goblins and then we'll go ahead and drop down a mini packet to tank for the minions and then we can go ahead and drop some spear goblins and also zap the ice wizard. Let's see if we can get some hits off. Let's see if we can kill the tower and the tower is going to go down. See it is just that easy to get one quick push off and now he's missing out on the tower and we've got one tower up so we've got the advantage over this guy so why don't we just drop a princess to try to protect that and sadly our tower does go down so we're gonna have to try and get a push going on the left I don't really want to drop anything more on the right Let's just go ahead and drop a mini pecker on this guy's royal giant zap his mini pecker as well as his fire spirits and our spear goblins our minions now our tower only does have 1500 health right here so we have to get a quick push going let's just go ahead and drop a miner on his princess let's zap that and we should actually try and cycle back to this mini pecker because the mini pecker is the card that we want to do all of our damage and get it to the tower. That's our main goal because he does a 
ton of damage like this guy's using the mini pecker as well and he's trying to get it to, to my tower so when we drop down a miner on his princess drop down our own princess drop down some spear goblins it's actually a good thing that he did drop that roll giant it's going to keep all of our cards together so we can actually drop down two mini peckers right here drop down a miner drop down a zap and i think this is pretty gg if our mini peckers can get right on that tower like they're doing one hit off each yep that tower's rip and we are going to get the win easy two sir easy win good game well played and we did win and that was pretty easy so hope you guys did enjoy today's video be sure to smash like button if you did and subscribe to the channel if you're on your own here and we'll see you guys in the next video peace out guys